Hi Nancy, welcome back. <clears throat> Okay, so we're still here on this page. I want to put something here. So I have um, this little banner. And I have this little banner. I think I like this one better. Hi Belinda. Hi Sam. Welcome back. Thanks for being here Belinda. I hope you give this a try. I'm going to put this at an angle. And I'm going to add one of my little hearts. take another um, index card I'm gonna put Ruby what do you got you guys okay calm down now go sit down This is the one that I think that I'm going to write a message on. I'm going to put this up here. It says, Sending Happy Thoughts. And I think I'm going to put this up here behind this paper clip that's holding those other notepads in. And I think I'll put my note on here. But so that they know that there's something written on here. I think I'll use this one too. That says just... Just a note. And I think I'll put it up here. So that when they see, when they flip that page, they'll see that there. So I'm going to slide this back in, put it underneath that paper clip, and then they'll see that that's a note. Okay, so that page is pretty full. And then I've got this one that is an open space as well. And I might want to put a little something there. It's getting pretty bulky on that page, so... But this heart, I think, matches the paper well, so I think that this will be pretty on there. It says, Thankful Heart. Okay. So that page has a lot going on. Okay, so let's move over to this one. That one has a lot going on, so I might want to tone this one down a bit. Um, I might want to just maybe make this... I don't know, what do we want to do over here? Because we still have two more to do. I kind of want to use the her. Yeah. 
and maybe a place to put photos in. So let's do a remember. So that can be like a journaling space. I'm going to glue three sides. Should have measured first. What was I thinking? I know the cards are bigger. That's okay, we can fix. We can fix. We can't cut straight. Kind of. I can kind of cut straight. they can put a photo in there. And whenever I do that and I make a spot for photos, um, I like to just let them know that I made that for a photo. Kim, you didn't. Did I? Seriously. I did. Why did I do that? I glued all the way around that. Ugh. I wanted that to be a straight line, so I wanted to do it over. I just needed to. Subconsciously, I wanted that to be a straight line on there. So we'll do it over. Is that Stampendous ink? It's Stampability ink, and yes, I like it. It's lasted me forever. It's to the point where it, I really can't dip a stamp into it anymore because it doesn't have enough, but man, it's great to edge things with. Okay, I think that I got it right this time, you guys. Hi, 
Hi, Felicia. Okay. Oh. So that, that we go with that. Are you leaving too, Felicia, or are you just saying goodbye to the people leaving? You know I'm serious when I pull out my washi tape. I know that I need to start using my washi tape because my angel, my washi tape angel is sending me some more. So, there's that. So I need to get to using it. I just hoard it because I like it. It's just like my stickers. I don't use them, but I hoard them because I like them. But this needs a little bit more life to it. I mean, it's going to look, obviously, it's an index card, and it's going to look like an index card no matter what. And I, I want it to look like an index card. Index cards are great for journaling, but I want to jazz it up. I want it to look nice. Nice, nice, but I don't get that. Yeah, tear. And plus it's bringing everything on this page together. There. I'm going to put it on the back. Okay, so since I did that there, me as well. Do it here. Now my washi's not holding anything together. The only thing my washi is doing is being decorative and pretty. So if you're going to make washi tape hold things together, please make sure you glue it. Don't depend on it to hold anything together because it won't. Because it's real fall off. You think? It just simply will not hold things together. I have so many flip books that people have sent me where they put the flip book together with washi tape and they literally just fall apart. And it's so frustrating. I feel bad because they work so hard on it and then their work is just falling apart. Because I know how much they put into it. And And to see their work falling apart is just so sad to me.
you know, because they watched a tutorial where somebody t told them to use washi tape to construct their flip book. And that was the worst advice they ever got. Well, maybe not ever, but in the crafting world. Okay, I gotta take this apart because now it looks unfinished. So now I need to put all of this back, this, and this. Okay, now it looks more finished. Oh. No, I want to go around this one, too. Be careful if you're not really so washing. Please don't spill anything. Well, don't lean on it. Just don't lean on the desk. I'll look up at the chat in a minute, guys. Sorry. I just want to get this tape laid out. Some washi is really sticky and you can't get it off for anything, but most of it isn't. There, it looks adorable. Adorable. Hi, Sean. Cool. I'll watch, Sean. Is your family doing your channel too, Sean? Okay, so we just have these two. So let's do a quick flip. Now I kind of want to add washi tape to the whole darn thing since that looks so good. Yeah, some washi. Yeah, maybe I'll add some different washi. I'm not gonna do it right now. And maybe are you guys getting sick of me yet? <laughs> do you want me to keep going? Or are you guys getting sick of me? Because I do want you to see the front cover. So do you want me to do these two pages? Or do you want me to do the cover? Oh cool, Sean. So see how thick it's getting? That's why I like to have this flip go over the top and the string so that my book will close and not be flopping about. So let me know, do you want me to do these two pages on the inside or do you want me to do the front cover? Keep going please. Okay. So these two pages here, I do want to do washi tape on these now because now these kind of look way good <laughs> and these kind of look way not good. <laughs> but let's go on to these. So what shall we do here? Um, I don't know. I don't want you leaning on the table. You already spilled iced tea all over it. I don't want you leaning on it. Oh, I know where that picture is. My picture. I really know this. I know this one. I think I just want to put it up in my wall. On the wall, place I look at all the time. 
Okay, I'm just trying to make some room here because I've got a mess. Okay, Sean, when you get that video up, I'll um, promote you, okay? I'll make a video to promote you. So I'm going to use this paper, but I'm going to use it over here because it will be too close to that one, I think. Or this is what we'll do. We'll cut this thing diagonal. Okay, so I'm just going to put the corner in there and the corner in there. Sean, we'll do a collab. We'll do a collab video and um, send, you know, send stuff to each other and open it live and um, promote, get some people to your channel. Haley's in the other room watching She's watching the Jungle Book again. It already played once, and now they're watching it again, right? Yes, I should want to watch it again. But Sean says hi. Hi. She said hi if you didn't hear her. It'll be good. I'm not going to do a bean boozled challenge though. It has to be art related. <laughs> I'm not going to stick disgusting jelly beans in my mouth. Jelly beans? Okay. I'll make the girls do a bean boozled. I won't make them. I'll let them do it. They could try disgusting jelly beans. Okay, so I'm gluing through two sides to this. It's pop up for my fashion. Do you remember this too? Okay, so I'm going to do these two as well. Oh! And then I'm going to stick this one here. Okay, so these last two pages, I'm going to make this more of a goodie section. I'm going to put goodies in here. Goodies. So I'm going to put the tea bag. I make these little notebooks. So let me pick out a cute one. That one's cute. Uh, I've got 
got a bunch of homemade paper clips that I made a really long time ago. That one says Faith. That one's an Easter chickadee. A banner. It's another Faith. That one. So we'll put those in there. I will cut a piece of this. Okay, so I'm going to make sure my glue is dry first off. Put my little book there. Put my little tea bag there. I'll cut a piece of this to put my paper clips. I'm going to put that one on the front of that little notebook. I'm going to put these guys on here. I'll put this one on the tea bag that says Faith. random string over there. Put these. Oh, I, you know what? I really didn't need to do that because I can use the edge of this. What's nice about doing um, flip books and pocket letters is you can kind of get rid of all that extra stuff that you've made in the past. I'm going to stick some extra paper in here that I didn't use. Maybe they'll use it for something. I'm going to cut it all the same size, maybe. Can you see what my chest is in it? Like, Emma? Because I don't want to do this. Okay. Maybe I'll stick some of these papers in here. Some of these papers. Some of these papers.
I've got a set. Oh, these are cool ATC things that I made. Maybe I'll stick a couple of those in there. I've got some of these too that are really cool. They're like the big bubbles paper that I made. But I've got a set of my favorite um, scriptures. Maybe we'll just tuck those up in there. Okay, so that is pretty stinking full. Brooke wants to set, what's to um, include one of her dresses. She made this pretty butterfly dress, so she wants to include that in here. So we will put that in here. Who wouldn't, see, see how full this is? Honestly, that's ridiculous. So see when I put the string on here, that was seriously ridiculous. I'm going to forego these. Let's see if that helps. <laughs> okay, let me forego that. They get so fat and chubby. <laughs> it's really, nothing is really helping it. That helped a little bit. Okay. Sometimes you gotta take things out. You know, sometimes you just get a little bit chunky. It's too really is. It's just a little chunky monkey. It really is. I'm going back up to the comments. I missed a lot there. Oh, awesome, Nancy. That'll be cool. I would love to see pictures of your flip book, Nancy. I was nervous too, Sean. You'll get over it. Cool, Piper. That's a neat idea. I was so nervous. If you watch my first video, you'll see how nervous I was. What I did with my first video is I sped through it <laughs> so I wouldn't have to talk. Okay, so now we need to punch. We need to punch a hole. So this is a cheap thingy I got at Arbor Freight. It's a very discount um, a very discount hardware store if you've got one. So I'm going to go about right there. That's my pilot hole. <laughs> now I need to get my eyelets. I just sold it again. I'm getting a little messiness. Okay, so you put this thing does not work good. I'm gonna tell you right now. I fight and struggle with this thing. I'm going to find my pilot hole and I'm going to try and pray that this goes in. Sometimes it works well, sometimes it doesn't. Turn it over, 
do it the other way and like I said sometimes it works well sometimes I don't I just I need to get a good one I really seriously I would rather have a hammer set one than this see uh, it just makes me mad is what it does I just don't want anybody to cut themselves. So I have to make sure all the sharp edges are off of it. I mean, the front side always looks good. It's the back side. Okay, so I've got my eyelet in there. And now I need to get some string. My friend Kendra blessed me with beautiful fibers, and I love this one. I think this will look beautiful on here. I love how it has those chunky spots in it. So I'm going to cut a piece off. If you don't have an eyelet, you can always use a brad to do this. Okay, so this is how I do this. This is how long my string is. I want this end to be long enough. Sorry it's so pixelated. Okay, that looks better. Okay, so you want one end, you're not going to fold it in half. You want one end to be long enough to tie only. Okay, and then you're going to make your loop. Now I'm froze. Make your loop there, okay? And you're gonna put it through the front side of your hole. And pull it through. Now hold on to your loop and only pull your short string all the way through. If you can find which one is your short string. Now don't let go of your loop because you need to know where that is, okay? This is if you're going to add a charm. I need to make sure I'm doing it right. Okay, this is if you're adding a charm. I need to go get a bigger um, eye ring, so I'm going to set that there. Don't touch that, Brooke. I need to move a few Because I finished with my second one. Again, this one. And can I get my owl? Oh, okay. I guess I'm going to do it with this one. This one. Okay, so I guess you could do this a couple of different ways. I'm going to try something different here. So I'm going to open up my jump ring. 
For some reason, I'm not feeling very strong today. I could have done that. I'm doing it differently. Normally, I don't use an eye ring, so you don't do it however you want to do it. Don't pay attention to me. <laughs> Because normally I don't add the eye ring. And it's been a while. Ooh. I hate it when I sound stupid. So now I'm sticking it back through and pulling it back through. I still need this to be as long as I want my tie string to be. Okay, now I'm going to string my two ends through that. And then I'm going to pull it like this. And my eye ring is there. You could have done that without all of that business that I just told you. Okay, so my eye ring is sitting there like that. And I still have a short string and I have a long string. You can tie this so that it doesn't unravel. And so that your charm or your eye or your jump ring or whatever you've got on there stays in one place. I'm just flipping that jump ring down so it's like in the down position. It's not all floating all over the place. Now I need to find my opening. So I could make a dangle for this. Let's do that. I'm going to put this heart on it, but let me go and get some beads. Okay. For some reason, I am seriously having a brain fart. I'm going to close this back up. Because things are coming into my mind that I'm thinking, no, I want to do that different. I want to do that different. You know what I'm going to do, because this is still loosening up, is I'm going to actually feed one of my ends through my jump ring. Bye, Sim. And then I'm going to tie it so that that will hold that in place. I'm going to tie um, a square knot. I'm going to do a double knot here. Because this is so soft. This fiber is so soft that it's just like not holding on. Where is my key for this? I don't know. I can't lose it. Okay, so that's pretty sturdy now. Sis, where are you for my key? Oh, my key on my bag in it. Okay. So, <laughs> sorry you guys. I just had an idea that I wanted to make this removable. That's why I was struggling. I'm like, ooh, I'm going to make a removable little um, dangle. My fingers aren't strong today, so I'm going to separate this with pliers. Sorry it's so pixelated. I don't know what the deal is. So I'm going to add an eye pin onto a large jump ring and put it back into place. 
I closed it. Okay, I've got some little pink seed beads here. I'm going to try to open it without spilling them all over the place. And I've got these crystal clear ones. Mama, I'm trying to need my key. I don't have your key. Where is my key? I don't know. Now go. Okay, so I am just going to make a dangle with these beads. Sorry I picked seed beads. We could be here for a few hours. Oh, come on. Okay, so I put five of those on there. It shouldn't be too bad. We'll get through it. I can sing to you if you want me to. No, you don't want me to. Do you guys like string and beads? It's kind of relaxing. It's frustrating and relaxing at the same time. See, like the, the seed beads are a little bit frustrating. I must say the seed beads do, the little seed beads do test my patience. Oh, those are your sisters. Okay, there we go. See, that didn't take me too yes. long. Okay, so there we go. We've got them on there. So now for me, it's easier for me to put this down on the table and hold on to the top of it to make my loop. So that the beads don't go squirting all over the place. And once again, I probably too put too many beads on there and didn't leave myself enough room for my loop. So I gotta take a bead off, or two. I'm just gonna take one off. So I like living on the edge. I'm gonna grab these and try to pinch that. I'm not a jewelry maker. I say that every time I make jewelry or every time I try to put something together. I'm not a jewelry maker. Okay, so this is a smaller jump ring. I'm going to open it. I'm going to put it on my end. Ta da! Oh, fit. Oh, I made you big enough. Oh, you better be big enough. Oh, I didn't. Oh, yes, I did. Oh, no, I didn't. You're going on there. Oh, my goodness. Oh, goodness, gravy.
I didn't make my loop big enough, you guys. Sorry. Now it is. Let's try this again. There you go. Put my little heart on. Boink. Close it up. You got a cute little dangle heart. Okay, now I'm gonna put it on to my clip. These clips are hard. There, it's on my clip. Now I can clip it on to my jump ring on my book. Okay, and so then when I go here, it makes me a little nervous having open seed beans. So then when I go to close it, I take the long string and I wrap it and I wrap it and I wrap it and I wrap it. I have two ends. I tie a pretty bow. One end is usually longer than the other. I give it a little clip to make them even. And voila. There you have it. Okay, the back is done. I'll probably tweak some of those inside pages a bit. Now, if you didn't want to make this removable, and you attach the jump ring to the jump ring, it would make that shorter. It wouldn't make that hanging off like that, like that. That doesn't bother me, but if it did bother you and you wanted to attach it directly to that jump ring, you could. Okay. So that's it. I would write a note in there. I'm going to tweak some of those pages. I want to add some washi tape to the insides. But that's it, you guys. I mean, they are time consuming. If I didn't have that paper already made, it would even be more time consuming. Now, I spent some time reading chat and stuff, but I pretty much sat here full force. I'm sure that my girls are starving and I need to go feed them. They had some snacks and stuff, so they're really not starving. So what do you all think? Are you going to give it a try? Thank you, you guys. I knew it was going to be a long one, but you could definitely make the process go by um, a little bit quicker by using um, scrapbook paper, designer scrapbook paper, which is perfectly fine. Like you don't have to use your own paper. If you have, you know, needed to get one done quickly, that's perfectly acceptable. Use stickers. You do less pages. Don't do as many flips as I did. You don't have to do that many. A lot of people only will do like three. Oh, I hope you try one, Piper. Let me know how yours comes out with your manila envelopes. Um, I was going to, you know what I was going to do to the front is 
last night I thought that I would put, I had an extra butterfly that I didn't have a back for it. I was going to put one of these butterflies on it, but I didn't realize that, I don't know what I was thinking, but obviously that's not going to work. But I like the front of it just like this. I'm not going to do anything to it. Oh, you're so welcome. Shona, I think that I still pronounce your name wrong, but I think that you accept that I can't get it right. I appreciate you being here and watching. I'm glad that um, I can give you guys some ideas and you guys inspire me to come up with the ideas. It's also inspiring to have to think of new ideas to present to you guys, so it helps me as well. I can't wait for you to try it, Nancy. Good, I'm glad I said it right. I used, let me see if I can find the packaging. It's from Fiskars. And it's called Sincere Salutations. Sincere Salutations. That's what these little ones that I used is. And then the butterfly ones that I used. I don't have the... This one, oh, I don't have the cover to it anymore. Oh, I don't remember what it's called. I can remember where it was in Michael's. The Butterflies is by Recollections, and it's from their Color Splash line. Recollect Recollections, Michael's, from their Color Splash line. You're welcome. Okay, so Shauna, Shauna, your name is Shauna, and Shona, who just came back, is Shona. Is that right? I love doing my closures this way because then, um, and I really don't like putting anything bulky on the outside because they can really use this more as a journal type thing. You know, a lot of a lot of flip books that you get are just full of stuff, which are nice too. They are. I'm not dogging them at all. 
but I like to do them like this because they can truly use this like for like a trip you know they've got little places where they can write, jot down notes put pictures in and kind of use it for a little day trip or weekend trip type of a, a journal it's like a little mini journal you know they can tuck little tickets receipts they can take all of the stuff that I've put in here out and just use this for like a little mini type of a thing. And put pictures in here, put little notes in here, maps, you know, things like that. That's why I like to do them like this because I think that people that receive them would be more, um, they would get more use out of this type of a gift. And that's why I make mine this way. So that it's something that they can use for that if they so choose to. Instead of just looking at it, you know, a couple of times and going, oh, that's really pretty. Oh, I love it. Thank you so much. And then you pretty much don't have a use for it after that. Okay, got it. Got it, Shauna. Shauna. <laughs> it's because I have a Shona and a Shauna. So that's why I was going, is it Shona? Is it Shauna? I'm trying to pronounce it right, everybody's name right. So, just out of curiosity, I've never gotten a flip book like this. How many if you received this flip book, what would you use it for? Would you guys use, what purpose would you use it for? Just seriously, out of curiosity. Would you use it for a mini journal, for like a weekend trip kind of a journal, photo album, memory type book? What would you use it for? Oh. <laughs> Shana Shona. Oh, cool, Nancy. Yeah, that's why I do it like this. Before, what I've also done is made, like I've put paper together, um, just regular copy paper. And um, I can show you really quick because it's really fast. Is I've like taken a space in here and I've just taken some copy paper you know not a crazy amount just you know a few sheets of it And cut it down 
pencil, pencil. Isn't it crazy after you do a project how messy your desk is? Put your paper down. You know, maybe three pages. I think I just messed up. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. And then you fold it in half. You can staple it if you want, or you can just get that same fiber that you used to um, bind it, or I could probably even cut a little bit off of that since it winds around so many times. Somebody might not want to fuss with winding it, and if they don't, then they can always cut um, the fiber and then use it for something else. But for this, I'm just going to simply measure three lengths of my book. And tie this really, really tight. Not so tight that you break your fiber, but... Tight enough that it holds that signature in there. This fiber is so soft that it just like melts like butter. Okay, so then you've got, you might want to staple those papers together. So then you've got this little signature in here that they can use, you know, as a little Journal, journal writing area. You know, they've got quite a few pages in there, and it doesn't add any more bulk. Whoops. It doesn't add any more bulk to your book. And it's just a nice little spot for them to be able to write in.
<laughs> right, Piper? That's a good idea, Shauna. So yeah, then they just, you know, have some journaling um, room in there. And it, didn't, it doesn't add any more bulk in it. And then when they get it, you know, then that will maybe trigger an idea. And when you write your note in there to them, you know, you can write in there that, you know, I'm, I was so happy to make this flip book for you. And I designed it for you to use it for um, a, a weekend journaling book or, you know, I think that anybody would get the idea. I don't think you really need to tell them, but it's just a different kind of flip book. I just like to make things that are more usable and not so much something that's just going to get put away. I think one of the best flip books that I ever sent somebody to, and I know that it really meant something to them, was um, I went on their Facebook page. They Some of their pictures were pretty public of their family. They, it, it was a young family. And I printed out some of the pictures. Um, they had two young children, and they had some family pictures. And I actually printed out the pictures and made like a family flip book and put the family pictures with sayings about, you know, cherish your the memories of your children and stuff. And actually made like a little photo album of their family and, and her and her husband and... Um, she truly just loved, just absolutely loved it. And it turned out beautifully. And it was, you know, something that I think that she will just love forever. And it's just like a little mini photo, photo album. And it was made for her. You know, I put some sentiments in there about being a mother and a wife and stuff. And it just was beautiful. So if you're, if you're ever making a flip book for somebody and they do have photos... Um, and then, you know, I put a note in there and I, I said, I hope that this isn't creepy that I stalked your Facebook page, but they were public. So you can always personalize it for somebody like that, especially if you're making it for a family member or a friend. Put a little personal twist on it. If you're making it and if you're in a swap and you know a little something about the person and um, you know you can definitely personalize it by putting their name on it. Um, I always like to send a private message to the person and ask them what their favorite colors are, what their favorite flowers are, their favorite animals, that kind of thing and then kind of personalize it to their their likes. Yeah. Sean, you know all about stocking. <laughs> Sean. <laughs> Sean's my stalker. I love you now, Sean. I'm sorry I thought you were a weirdo. <laughs> You're still a weirdo, but I still love you. You're just a weirdo with a torch and a spray bot and a spray can. A torch and a spray can. You're my kind of weirdo. <laughs> you are a little bit of a weirdo <laughs> I'm a weirdo too so you're in good company
Do so you guys have any other questions or any comments or <coughs> suggestions? Okay, Nancy, have a good weekend. You're so welcome. Thank you so much for watching. That's right, Piper. Weirdos unite. Yeah, Sean, I want to see you make a flip book. I can't wait to see what you'll do with it. Did you ever finish your um, domino book, Sean? You're welcome, Shauna. Thank you so much for being here. Yeah, Piper, watch the beginning. I really want you guys to try to make this. It's so much easier with the envelopes. You have a wonderful evening, Piper. Bye-bye. God bless. I need to try to make one, Sean. You piqued my interest when you um, expressed that you were going to make one, so I think that I am going to attempt one. Well, you guys, I'm going to sign off so that I can go feed the girls and go check my mailbox. Call my husband back since he's been trying to get a hold of me. So I will talk to you guys all soon, okay? Tomorrow is a new Faith Art Unedited. So I am doing a new page in um, a new stepping stone in my um, Faith Art Journal. So make sure you watch that video for your next prompt. And um, please go over and join that Facebook page, Faith Art Unedited. All right, guys. I hope you all have a good morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are in the world. And as always.